Hey, what's happening there, Forum? Great to have your company once again. Well, for those of you who have kept up with their 9-11 research, you would have heard recently about Dmitry Kolozov. That's right, the former Russian military nuclear specialist that has come forward with evidence to show that not only 9-11 was an inside job, but it was also done using special atomic munitions. And how does he know this? Because when the WTC tower had its construction plans submitted to the city of New York, they were also in agreement to provide the demolition plan on how they would think to bring down the tower. The demolition plans itself containing intricate details about nukes being used to pulverize every single particle within the towers to bring it down in a controlled fashion. Well, here we have one expert, one professional who had access to these plans. In fact, now, so many years later, he's come out with a video series showing exactly how the towers were brought down, and in fact, with evidence to back it up. Dmitry Kalazov's series can be seen at this YouTube channel, 9 Thology. Do check it out. Do check out the website and indeed have a listen now as we talk to Dmitry Kalazov. Hello. Yes, and a very good morning. Is that Mr. Dmitry? Yes, Dmitry. This is Steve Johnson. How are you, sir? Yes, hi, Steve. Uh, okay. Have I caught you at a bad time? Yeah, no, it's the right time. It's okay. I was just wondering, how has the response been to your, your videos on the uh, nuclear explosions at the WTC? Have you had a good response overall? Um, overall, it's a good response, but it is only from the website visitor, from YouTube visitors. But um, nobody contacts me in any other way. So there's been no no response yeah. at all from the the news agencies or anybody else. No, not yet. Do you think maybe people are too scared to touch this subject? Uh, I think so, because I think there is a prohibition. Probably unofficial or perhaps official, which has something to do with political correctness about touching this topic among journalists. At least. At least I heard uh, this thing from the journalist. Uh, for example, one of French journalists told me the same thing. She said that uh, no journalist is allowed to touch that. Wow. I was wondering if you saw the uh, the pictures of the dump emergency vehicles at Fresh Kills that I sent you. You know, actually yesterday was my holiday because I was so bad tired. I just cannot work now. I will start very, you know, fresh into the morning to see and today I will start with your stuff. Fantastic, because th there is also I sent. But before that, I saw only the your three article about the molten rock. That's a very interesting article. Do you think that was made by glaciers? Yes, very. I think all your stuff is interesting. I was just not in the workable condition, to be honest. Of course, one of the best ones to, ha to have a look at is the Charlie Rose Round Table, where, where they ask the uh, New York. Uh, Photographers, what they saw, and four guys, four guys who were photographers, none of them saw a thing. None of them saw a plane? None of them saw a plane. Even the guy who took a photograph of the second plane exploding out of the building, he said he was standing underneath it and he didn't even see a plane. Yeah, because how you can see the plane if, I, 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 if there were no planes? It's understandable. <laughs> Well, it goes against what everybody's been told. It goes against what everybody believes. But uh, I guess that's the power of the media these days. If you can send me the link about this one, do you have any? I will uh, review it again. Yes, sir. I certainly will. And about the uh, the journalists that you say, you're, you send me a letter, you say that you write to a few journalists. But nobody contacts me and nobody sends me any letter. Wow. Yeah, I, I guess they're, they're a bit too scared to touch this subject. Maybe. Well, there's certainly a lot of very important points can, can I ask a question? Do you think that maybe uh, there were mini nukes going off at the time that the towers went down? No. Do you think that's impo it impossible? It was 150 kiloton, as I told. Do you, think, do you think it's possible that maybe smaller ones were placed every 10 floors or no, so? not possible, not possible. Because if they would be smaller, they will not pulverize the tower. They will undercut the tower, and then the tower will fall to the side of the whole piece. So it needs a it needs a large explosion. Well, the mini nuke doesn't have a, 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 doesn't have power enough to pulverize the tower. It has the power only to undercut the tower. So the only one with enough power to pulverize it into uh, fine material would be 150 kilotons. Yeah, but as you can see, that it's not even enough because it was enough only for the for the one trade center seven, but not enough for the twin tower. For the twin tower, it should, it should be. It should be maybe 200 kiloton, but the, the problem is that the limitation of the treaty was, did not allow more than 150. Right. But you can see that it was not enough to pulverize the entire construction. That's why the, the top of the tower was not pulverized. In, in your opinion, Mr. Dmitry Kalazov, do you think that um, Bali bombings in 2002, do you think that was a micronuke? Uh, no, that's why I'm sure about this, because I know many details. You're 100% you're, you're sure? Of course, because I was also part of the case. I, you remember I told you that they accused me of the same thing? You see, uh, 
I cannot explain by the telephone. It's a little bit sensitive, but I can send you a letter in the encrypted uh, sure. uh, letter, the one like the exchange. No problem, no problem. That's okay. You don't need to say anything, sir. But uh, the em- I will write for you the letter today, and then you will explain to you what happened. The, the evidence that we found at the scene of the crime at the Sari Club in Bali was that th- this kind of huh? blast wave stripped the concrete down to fine dust, exactly the same as we saw on 9-11. Uh, uh, you remember I sent you some part of my book, yes? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, did you receive it? I certainly did, and I had a very good read. I, I can't remember if I sent you the part uh, about polybombing or not. No, no, just the first part. Ah, only the first part. Okay, I will send you about polybombing too. So okay. what is your opinion about the first part? Wow, absolutely incredible. It just sums up everything that we've seen, everything that we know about it, everything that we've researched all over these years. It's all there, right there. Okay. It's like a catalog of, of 9-11 truth. <laughs> okay. What, what's the one subject of about 9-11 that you find people are, are not convinced about? Like, when you give them this information, uh-huh. uh, it covers everything. It explains why, it explains how, it explains when. But when you get people re- uh, watch this, what's the one thing you notice they don't really understand? It depends. You know, many people understand. But somebody, I think that majority of them who watch the entire 26 parts, they understand. Majority. But minority, maybe not. Do you think maybe they're still stuck on the official version? No. Probably no, nobody stuck to the official version, but uh, some, you know, that for many people it's very difficult to understand the, <laughs> the fact that the Americans used the nuclear bomb, especially of that caliber, you know, 150 kiloton is a lot. Yeah. And then just, I think this is a psychological problem. They, they just, very difficult for them to make themselves to believe that it's possible, because it just it sounds crazy for them. I think. It sounds too fantastic to be true. They probably cannot o- overcome the psychological barrier, I think. Uh-huh. You, you haven't been told to be quiet by the Russians at all? I mean, your, your former employers haven't told you anything? No, not, no. Are, are you allowed to come forward with this information from them? I don't care. Because <laughs> I have no obligation. Okay, so, so you're not under contract? No. You're retired, in fact. Uh, more than that, I was an uh, I was an officer of the Soviet army, and uh, I don't even consider that the Russian army is the legal uh, how they call it uh, heir to the Soviet army. I just really don't care. Wow! But the, the main thing you're doing this for is to get the truth out. Is that right? Yeah. And you know exactly what the truth is about 9/11. If you if you watch all the 26 parts, then it's, that is my opinion. Well, that's right. I, I know you have inside knowledge. You have inside evidence to show that, in fact, during the construction of the Twin Towers, they also handed in the demolition plans, which you were privy to. Yeah, yes. You know what, you know what I can tell you? I'm not quite sure if you, if you visited my website, and uh, the name of the website is nuclear-demolition.com. Yes, sir, I did. There is a very good explanation there uh, why it is not possible to demolish the steel frame building. Right. And... When you read it, you will understand everything, because I explain that in writing. It's not much, maybe you will finish it in a half hour. Certainly. So, once you read that, you will understand what, uh, why it was not possible uh, to avoid having a uh, demolition scheme. In your videos, you suggest that uh, the missiles were taken from the Kursk submarine, were used in 9-11. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 what I suggested, you mean that... Uh, uh, missile was fired from Kursk or stolen. What do you mean? You, you say that those were the types of missiles that were used in the attack on the Pentagon? Uh, yeah, the missile that used in the attack on, on the Pentagon it was stolen from, from tanks and submarines, yes? That's for sure. But uh, I don't know from which kind of ship they fired it. This I, I don't know. The remains that they took from the Pentagon, when they took it out of the Pentagon, it was covered up with a blue tarp. They made sure nobody could see what it was. Yeah, because uh, they decided to, you know, when this kind of thing hit the Pentagon, the first thing what the FBI did, they confiscated the scene. Well, straight away they started it's, to cover uh, up. The new file and also they confiscated the whole videotapes. And uh, everyone who saw the actual missile, they, they forced them to sign the non-disclosure contract. That I know for sure. How about any other governments? Have you had any other governments approach you and say, hey, listen, Dimitri, you know, what are you doing? So far not, nobody told me. But I know that Indonesian government is very much interested about the Bali bombing because I have a good discussion uh, one time with the Indonesian officials about this. Well, listen, I'll let you go there, uh, Dimitri. Thanks very much for talking. Okay.
Okay, I will send you the stuff to read. Fantastic. You take care, sir, and as always, God bless. Uh -huh, thank you. Well, that's all for me for now. Stay tuned to this channel for more updates on what's happening in the world today. We're going to be back with Dmitry Kalazov talking about Bali again very soon. So stick by, subscribe, add to favorites, and of course, as always, leave a comment. Thanks very much. You take care. God bless to everybody. Have a fantastic day. This is Steve Johnson signing off, saying ciao for now.